Tesla FSD Beta V11 is expected to include the merger of Tesla city driving stock and highway driving stock, which will be a big step toward the development of the autonomous driving system. And that merger, that merger between Tesla city driving stock and highway driving stock is now delayed and postponed. And I'm going to tell you all about this. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the bell like this video so you don't miss my next coverage. So Elon Musk announced that Tesla is slowing down the rollout of its next full self-driving beta software update 10.69 due to many major code changes. It is reportedly still coming today, but only to approximately 1,000 Tesla full self-driving beta drivers. Full self-driving beta enables Tesla vehicles to drive autonomously to a destination entered in the car's navigation system, but the driver needs to remain vigilant and ready to take control at all times. Since the responsibility lies with the driver and not Tesla's system, it is still considered a level 2 driver assist system despite its name. It has been sort of a two-step forward, one-step back type of program as some updates have seen regression in terms of the driving capabilities. Tesla has frequently been releasing new software updates to the FSD beta program and adding more owners to it. The last update, 10.12, came in May, so it has been a while since Tesla has pushed something new to the FSD beta fleet. In July, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said the FSD beta 10.13 would be coming in a week, and he did something rare for him when it comes to, te when it comes to Tesla full self-driving. He managed expectations about the update. However, even though release notes leaked a week later, the update wasn't pushed to the larger fleet as Musk decided to make it a bigger update and upgraded it to 10.69, which is supposed to come tonight to a small p amount of people. The CEO had been promising the new Tesla FSD beta 10.69 to come on August 20th, but now a day before the release, Musk yesterday announced on Twitter that the rollout will be slower due to many major code changes. There are many major code changes, so this will be an extra cautious rollout, releasing on a 20 to approximately 1,000 Tesla owners, then 10.69.1 next week to accommodate feedback and release to approximately 10,000 customers, then 10.69.2 week after and release to rest of the full self-driving beta program members. Based on previous comments, and the release notes for 10.13 update, the update will address left turns, animal detection, speed limits, and more. Now, Elon Musk had originally said that Tesla's bigger FSD update, V11, would be coming around this time at the end of August, but it looks like it is delayed in favor of this new 10.16 update. And that V11 update was a merger. Tesla FSD Beta V11 was expected and still is expected to include the merger of Tesla's city driving stock and highway driving stock, which will be a big step toward the development of the autonomous driving system. This is why, the way things are going right now, this merger for now is delayed. And it is going to be an interesting thing to merge those two, Tesla City driving stock and highway driving stock. But we'll see how things go. I think a lot of things will depend on how tonight's update to approximately 1,000 FSD beta owners will go. And we'll see how things will go in a week later. Uh, if everything goes well, like I said, Musk said it will go up to approximately uh, 10,000 people. And then hopefully the merger with uh, city driving and highway driving will come and we'll see what that it brings. Now, I'm reading some comments on the electrics coverage of this topic and one person named PJ says, I see the alpha beta testers will get the beta alpha that will replace the current beta, which should probably be called an alpha because it is testing literal full self-driving, but does not have the functionality built into fully self-drive. So it is not actually at the beta testing stage where 
old features are built in but buggy. Here's an idea. Stop treating automotive, automotive testing with the same methodologies you use for we based spreadsheet apps. Could you imagine aircraft manufacturers testing flight computers like this or nuclear power plant computer controls? Yes, they all run software, but the physical consequences of failure set the testing regime and acceptable rates of favor. So what do you think, friends, about this? What do you think about Tesla delaying this major uh, merger of uh, city driving versus highway driving? And um, have you received the 10.69 updates? The last I saw, people were still waiting on Twitter. They were tweeting about that. If you receive that and test drive it, please comment below how it is and what feedback do you give to Tesla for that. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. If you like this information please tweet it and share in social media and like this video to give us thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it god bless you peace be with all of you and i'll see you in our next report